All right. In setting priorities, we were just talking about, is how do we go about it? What's the way for us to determine uh, what should I do or how should I do things? So we're not talking about family and stuff. We're just talking about you as an individual. How do I determine? Because if I'm not going to be able to determine myself, I'm not going to be able to determine overall what's good for my family. So I'll tell you the following for you guys. By the way, happy birthday to me. Happy thank birthday. you, thank you. Huh? Amen. Amen. Or I would even take until 100, like 20. That's also good. I would tell you there's three parameters that we need to look into consider. School, work, and Torah. And the way we're going to look at it is what gives me the most? So let's look at work. Everybody says, of course, work. Men lechem and Torah. That's what everybody everybody says. Of course, they didn't forget. They didn't remember that there's other parts to it. Men Torah and lechem. Lo al, you know, motzapi adam, right? You know, ichi adam. Work is good. Why? You need to buy food. You have money. Provides you with the money. Provides you the means. To work, you want to do something, you have the money to buy for it. Of course, you should never live on a credit card. And you should not try to have anybody else pay for you. You have the means, live according to your means or below your means. Never live above your means. However, work will provide me with things for the right now. For right now. The, you cannot do anything about the past. And for sure, not the future. Because even if you put money in the bank, you know, it's... You have to still have to eat, and it's all about now, now, now. Work is all about now. The future, you know, if all you know, government might take all your money. So it's all about the now, the present. How about school? School will be only for the future. Right now, I'm not getting it. Right now, going to school is a money pit. It's all about the future. And I'll be able to get a better job so I can buy food in the future. You see the correlation between food and school and so on and so forth. So I would say work is on the bottom. School is above it. Torah is above all. Why? Torah will take care of your future. First of all, we'll start with that. We'll take care of your future. We'll guarantee you to have a future. Olam Abba, without us. Future for you when you get old and retire. You have a meaning. You understand what's your meaning of of life. What are you living for? What's your place in the world? We'll give you the koach to go to school, to go to work. We'll take the future when you'll be able to teach your son Torah, so you're taking care of the future, that your child will be a, will be a religious Jew, will be a Jew altogether. Takes care of the future. Takes care of the now, because every single moment that you learn Torah, right now, you are doing a mitzvah. Right now it gives you a meaning, you understand, so it gives me meaning now. And it helps me connect to the past. If I did something wrong in the past, and I did an avara in the past, if I'm learning Torah with all my koach, and I'm learning Torah with ava, it would erase what I did in the past. So Torah covers all three aspects of this world, plus olam haba. So Torah should be, first of all, I need to make my daily schedule First of all, based on Torah, because that will give me the most. Then I'm going to cover in school, because I, I need to worry about the future. The right now, you know, you'll manage, but you still have to work. You can't just wait around for money to fall from the heavens. So if you need to schedule your, your, your life, first of all, Torah. Second, school, in terms of priority. Third, work. Not the other way around. Or like most people do, they put everything at work with no future, with no past, and a very measly present. Have a beautiful day.